Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Acer Spin 3 SP314 series model N19P1. Okay, so first what you want to do, remove all the screws from the bottom. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, once you remove all the screws, take out the pen, the, the what do you call the stylus. Okay, after you do that, just open. Um, put it on its side. As you can see, there's a um, gap here. So just get your fingernails or a pry tool and go along this gap. Okay. And then just go all the way around, just like this. All right. This case isn't too difficult to remove. So you just go all the way around. All right. Slide your fingernail in. Just like that. Okay. Might have to go with this side first. Okay, so the side with the ports, just go along, follow the gap, pop all the edges, okay? Be careful with the power button, you don't want to pry that, okay? And just keep going all the way around, just like that, alright. Sorry, if I go out of view, it's hard to see what I'm recording while I'm recording it. Okay, and just keep going all the way around. There you go. This side kind of gets stuck, so you can kind of lift it up at an angle while you're kind of prying it, and it'll help a little bit. All right, just like that, and there you go. Yep, so you got the cover off, just like that. All right, so underneath, you'll see if you're planning on taking things out, always disconnect the battery first. I'm just going to show you what there is, so I'm not going to really do that. But the battery connector's here. Just grab it with your fingernails and kind of just wiggle it out and you can pull the whole battery connector out. Um, there's two screws holding in the battery. When you take these out, it'll come up at an angle. I guess I can show you this. So I'll take out the connector. There's some tape here holding the battery in place. Um, so I'll take out these two screws just so you can see. All right. Don't mix up the screws, just like every other computer. You want to try and get them back in the same spot if you can. So to get the battery out, you just lift it up at an angle like this, and then you can take it out. Um, it might get stuck to this padding a little bit, um, but it's okay. Just peel it out. So here's the battery. Um, if you need the model number, here's the battery model number. Okay. All right. Once you got the battery out, you can see here's the keyboard connector. Um, to remove this, there's some little tabs. You just pull it out, um, pull it down, and then you can slide out the thing. Um, and then there's the connector here that goes to this USB port um, and the SD card slot. Got a connector here for the power button and the LEDs. And then you got these two connectors. They both go to the trackpad. I'm not sure why it needs two, but there's two. Then you got a M.2 SATA SSD. I don't know if this supports uh, NVMe or PCIe SSDs, but it's a, this is a SATA. Um, just take the screw out. It'll go up at an angle. You can slide this cover off, and then you can pull out the SSD. Um, there's the CMOS battery. This little button here is a battery BIOS reset button that you can actually access through the bottom cover. So you just use a needle, and you can poke that. So if something's wrong with the motherboard, you can hold that, and it should reset. Um, then you got the RAM here, so the type of RAM this thing uses. Just pull these two tabs to the side and it'll pop up like this. So the RAM here is, let's see, PC4 um, 2666V, okay, so that's the type of RAM you need. Um, the um, CPU is soldered to the board just like every other model. It looks like they have a slot here for a regular 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SSD. Um, there's a little uh, connector tab here that most likely uh, if you replace the hard drive or if you have a hard drive or SSD here, then it most likely connects there. Okay, then you got this connector here. This is for the power for the um, stylus. Then you got the fan connector here. Two screws holding it in place. You got the DC jack. Pretty simple to replace. Just um, take these two screws out. You can open up this hinge and then you can pop this up. Um, there's this adhesive here holding it down. You'll peel that up as well. There's one speaker here. Um, it looks like it connects underneath over here, actually. So the other speakers here, they both connect to here. So to take the speakers out, it looks like you'll have to take the motherboard out. 
Um, then you got the LCD connector here. You just peel this stuff up and then you can pull this connector out. Usually go with the edges with your nails and then just pry both sides slowly and it'll come out. Wireless cards here. The antennas, you just pull the tail end up and it'll pop off. And then the one screw, when you undo that, the wireless card will come up at an angle and you just wiggle it out. That's pretty much all there is. Um, there's the keyboard backlight cable here. forgot to mention that. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.